and haters and participators. Get ready, get ready for the next episode. Here we are once again for another episode of Unpopular Opinion, where we will discuss a broad array of things, but um, sports is the topic at the front of my mind. And I just wanted to say a uh, special shout out to my special guest from yesterday, Ronaldo Reed. But I'm going to just do a few few more things that came to my mind about this particular uh, playoff or tournament scenario. Because one thing I want to know is, what is the criteria? What is the formula for getting in? Apparently, wins really don't matter, you know. Apparently, Winning your championship doesn't really weigh as heavily. Apparently, it's more about who you are, and it might be more about who people want to see uh, or who you know, you know. But I just got two questions that had popped in my mind. It was, one was, um, do you get in because of who you are? Or who you be? Or do you get in because of who you are and who you be? And then you might throw in the other way, one more way of uh, asking that question. Who you are and who you didn't be. Now, you only be whoever was on your schedule. When you beat them, is when you beat them. If you don't beat them, you don't beat them. But it really seems to me that it makes it makes me think of um, how we in our political system we have that that uh, segment which is known as the electoral college. An electoral college they ultimately are the deciding factor in who holds office. Now we know that. There are instances where most often the popular vote and that electoral vote align, but there are some cases where that's not always the case. Now, to me, college football is even more murky than that particular example that I just laid out. Because at no level of playoff, playoffs, Playoffs, no level of sports is playoffs this confusing. Because, I mean, I said it yesterday, it's like, it's pretty much the BCS. You're going to choose who you want to be a part of it. So don't call it a playoff. If it's not a playoff, just call it a tournament. And that's what it is. It's just a tournament of the teams that are viewed or recognized, maybe some might say proven to be the best team because uh, I used the analogy yesterday, the episode of Martin when the baby shout out and they were like, what about the umbil umbilical cord? Like, Tommy, we don't need umbilical cords. This is TV. It's made for TV. It's made for ratings. It's made for money. You know, if it's, if it's, if it's the money game, if it's money ball, that's what we need to call it. That's all. And and no shade to whoever gets in. If you if you if you one of those guys, you one of those guys. If you one of them, you you them, you him. You know what I mean? Because I think about it's not about wins. It's for TV. It's not about who's the champion. It's for TV. Because think about it. In little league, in middle school. You win your games, you go to the playoffs if there is a playoff scenario or format. You win a certain amount, you get into the playoffs. High school. You win a certain amount of games, you win your area, you make the playoffs. And I'm going to use a, a, a example a little bit more let me make a more clarifying example about high school. Here, here in um, Alabama, 
There are two teams that faced off. Clay Chalkville and Thompson. In this particular game, it was a close game, and it came down to the wire. Clay Chalkville beat Thompson. Clay Chalkville has given Thompson their only loss. However, both of them have gone on to win their area because one school is a 6A school and one school is a 7A school. Now, I kind of liken that area championship to a conference championship. If you win your conference, that shows that you have proven that you are supposed to be there. But in college football, we know we have a lot of schools, we have a lot of conferences, and we know colleges, I mean, conferences are dismantling and restructuring and things of that nature. So with that in mind, we know that in high school, you win your area, you go on to the playoffs. And those two teams, they're actually playing for the 6A championship. Clay Chopper is playing for the 6A championship. And Thompson is facing off against Central Phoenix City for the 7A championship. But it's pretty clear cut. It's pretty defined. Skip over college for a moment. Shift to the NFL. Division leaders, you know what I mean? You win your division. You place in the playoffs. You have your uh your seeding or your ranking for the playoffs. You know, somebody is a wild card. Somebody is in one of those other slots. So what's weird about college football is like, okay, why y'all calling this a playoff if it's not really a playoff? Just say it's a tournament. And I think people won't find problems with anything, but I think that would be a little bit more, a bit well-received, you know what I mean? Because you know that if you are selected, you are in. And that's just it, my friends. That's just it. If you are selected, you are in. And think about this for a moment. If you look at each state, we're going to speak about three states in specifically. Well, we'll throw in four. Louisiana in college football, LSU. That's 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 the one for college football. Georgia. They have a number of different schools, well, universities in Georgia, but UGA. That's D1 for football. Now, in the state of Alabama, you have Alabama and Auburn. You have Alabama and Auburn. But we know, we have seen that history has shown us that Alabama is that school. People give more respect, more, um, it's more favor for them. You know, that's that's the school, hands down, right? Auburn has their moments, but Alabama is the school. Now, in Florida, the University of Florida is the school. Florida State is that next one down. But the thing about it is, Florida State is a good school. It seems like they have, they should be considered. It should, it seems like it might be, it seems like it should be closer. But I don't know, because I'm not in the state of Florida. But Florida State, has done some things, but we know that Florida has done more. But all Florida State did in this year's football season is win who is, is win the games that were on their schedule. That's what they did. They won the games that were on their schedule. 
Everybody that they played, they beat them. No matter who was on the schedule, no matter who played, no matter who got hurt, no matter who was out, whatever. Now we flip up up top to uh, Michigan. Michigan won every game, you know. Michigan won every game, even with their coach out. And we know Michigan is that school in the state of Michigan. Ohio State, they only lost to Michigan. That is that state's school. And basically what I'm saying is, going back to the question that I posed, do you get in because of who you are and who you be? Or do you get in for who you are or who you be? Who you beat. So, it's not really about the wins, but what you think about it, if you're an athlete, go out there and play, play your best, do your best. Give a good showing so that you can move on to the next level or get the most out of that experience. If you have that good group of guys or good gaggle of guys, as I've heard people say, go out there, do your thing, compete. It's an experience, it's a time. But don't get your expectations up. Just go out there and focus on what's in front of you. Next game, next play, you know, next practice, whatever it may be. Take something from it. Because you can get very easily disappointed based on the way this college football stuff is set up. You know, because there were times when the BCS was around and people felt left out and people were left out. And then they decided to expand it a little bit to this 14 playoff. Well, tournament. Tournament. Because we see that it's just like with the BCS. They choose who they feel are the best to. Now they just choose two more to add to that favored duo. So eventually, it's going to expand a little bit more. And we will have some, I guess, a better system to say that it is a playoff. But still, I think it may still have some of these instances where if it's six teams at five and six, it's going to be debatable. And then somebody's going to get shafted. Somebody's going to get left out. And even if it's eight teams, you may you may have that top 10, and then for whatever reason, 8, 9, and 10, it's going to be some 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 murky stuff, some shaky stuff, some shady stuff that's going to happen, and one team is going to get left out. So to prevent all of that, as I've stated time and time again, just call it a tournament, man. Just call it a tournament. Because that's what it is. It's a tournament. But that's all I have for today, man. Um, I might get on here and do another video. But I just wanted to kind of continue and speak a little bit more about the whole college football tournament. Hey, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. And this is Unpopular Opinion with Jay Ward. Until next time, signing out.